There's the white flag. The leaders enter the last lap in a dead heat. Weatherly a lap behind in number 48. Petty in 42 and Beauchamp in 73. The leaders. One mile to go. In the final stretch, Weatherly is high on the track. Lee Petty in the center, Beauchamp below him. The checkered flag. The race is over. Both Petty and Beauchamp clock in the identical time. Three hours, 41 minutes, 22 seconds. Petty and Beauchamp both wheel to the winner's circle. Both accept congratulations of the crowd in one of the most amazing finishes ever recorded in stock car racing. The on-the-spot, unofficial decision went to Beauchamp pending examination of photos. From the fourth corner, Harold Kinder has the white flag in hand. There it is, one more mile around the Rockingham, North Carolina racetrack, and the win will belong to Kyle Petty. And the Unical bonus challenge money will be won here again, just as it was for the first time last year when Rusty Wallace walked off with it. Kyle Petty now is between turns three and four, playing it very conservatively, dropping the car to the low side of the racetrack. Off corner number four, the checkered flag waves, and Kyle Petty has won the Goodrich 500 at Rockingham and picks up the $228,000 in Unical bonus money. What a great win. What a super win. Team manager Gary Nelson and same engine builder John Wilson as one year ago. New spots are new colors, and white flag for Kyle Petty. Johnny Richardson was telling me earlier, Mike, that, that they won something like $700,000 for the year last year. That one car won over 400000 of them. And in the back straightaway, well ahead of Kenny Schrader by about a second and a half. Here comes Kyle Petty out of turn number four to face Doyle Ford's checkered flag and win the Goodwrench 500. Uh, Kyle, I'm getting a message now that uh, we're not going back green. Is that right, guys? No, I don't know about that. You know more about things like that. Than that. Okay, what we're what we're hearing right now, Kyle, is that you're the winner of the race. Congratulations. I'd take it and go to the house, but I got to go from a higher authority. Than you. <laughs> 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 hey, come on now. Are you guys sandbagging me or what? Oh, you don't believe us, huh, oh. Kyle. <laughs> Wait well, a second. We have. Watch the flag stand, Kyle. We have yeah, they got it. It's been confirmed, Kyle. Now, okay. now you got the higher authority. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, man. And I tell you, uh, you know, we run really good. But and and I owe it all to Robin Pemberton and John Wilson. Them guys. We had a great motor. If you could, if you saw it on TV and watched your car run up the backstretch, you saw how good it handled through the S's and how fast it was down the backstretch. All I had to do was keep it between the ditches the other times. So, you know, it was just we were lucky today. And uh, you know, I, I was praying the last. Prayed before the race started, but I prayed the last 10 or 15 laps that we'd make it to halfway and be leading. And uh, I think the good Lord answered. Is for third. Kyle Petty has this one in hand, looking for his sixth career victory, his fourth on a super speedway, and his third win from the pole. Kyle Petty, for the third time, breaks the bank at Rockingham. Here's the race for third, and Rudd is going to hold off Bill Elliott. Rudd holds off Elliott for third. And in the race for ninth, Terry Labonte held off Davey Allison. Kyle is leading half a lap from the finish en route to his seventh career NASCAR Winston Cup victory. Let's watch this battle for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. It's Kyle Petty is going to win it unless something awful happens. Kenny Schrader. Schrader is second. Gant is third. Here's Musgrave trying to get on the inside of Davey Allison. Trying yeah, to take I think over he's the got position. Him. He's got him this time. If he don't, if he don't slide up in the turn. Here's Kyle Petty coming off of turn three. He takes the checkered flag and wins the champion spark plug 500. Here's Schrader second. 
Third is Ken. Fourth is Victor. Come up off turn number four. It's the last lap. Michael, he's making a move on the outside. I don't know whether he's going to make it stick or not, but he's trying to pass Kyle Petty on the outside. And here comes Musgrave. It's a three-horse scramble. Okay, Lap two, car two. up ahead is Joe Nemechek. He won't be a factor. Labonte draws alongside of Kyle Petty's Pontiac. The four drops underneath. They'll come off turn four for all the money. Here comes Musgrave underneath Bobby Labonte coming off the corners. Dead heat coming down for the flag. It is a dead heat. Kyle Petty wins it. Who finishes second? It looked like Bobby Labonte to me for second, but I'm not real sure. Barry Dodson there has reason to celebrate. Joe Nimichek is a first-time winner in NASCAR Winston Cup racing. Ralph, how about it? Well, I'm down here with Jay Smith. Tony Glover just said over the radio, Jay, that to Joe, I want you to do whatever you want to do to this race car. If you want to blow it up, smoke it up, whatever, enjoy this moment. What would you suggest? Looking for finished second in that championship in his rookie year, and the F1 teams took notice. The Williams team picked him up, put him in their F3000 ride, won the championship, beat out Nick Heidfeld. Of course, the story is going to F1. And now here in Nextel Cup, on the verge of winning his first ever race, his wife Connie looks on. Can the fuel hold out for Montoya? Less than a lap ago, white flag in the air at Sonoma. Let's keep up with most speed he can through here. He's got about four seconds on Harvick right now, so if he can just drive it smooth and keep the thing running, he's got a good shot. He's done a great job today. I mean, he really has run aggressively, but he raced everybody pretty much clean. Got a half a lap to go. All good. It's clear by like 30 or 40. All clear. Lots of room. There's Harvick in second. Montoya told Matt Yoakum earlier this week in the piece we ran earlier today that he didn't think his childhood, childhood dream of becoming a professional racer would ever come true. Because you don't get many professional racers coming out of this no country, no country no of Columbia. No Final turn into 11. Then the short jog for turn 12. Juan Pablo Going Montoya to checker, coming Either to the checker right. flag. On. The fuel lives and Montoya wins at Sonoma. That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. And there's a great job, everybody. Hell yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job, driver. Good job, everybody. Good job, Rudy. Good job, motor guys. I second that. <laughs> He's the first foreign-born driver to win a cup race since Canadian... ...back to second because nobody is challenging this man, Juan Pablo Montoya. His last win, 113 starts ago at Infineon in June of 2007. Down through the final corner for the Good final job, time. Sorry about last week again. Way to go there, big boy. Good job. Hey, good job. Juan Pablo Montoya, his job, second Brandon. cup win. This more than anybody else. Great job, everybody. We've been working hard right. trying to make the chase. He will be the 13th different winner. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. One more time around, as you mentioned. What a shakeup it will be in the chase standings. Kyle Larson can get a win and fight for the championship at season's end. The gap staying the same, about 1.5 seconds. Down the backstretch for the final time, Kyle Larson. From the age of five, Kyle Larson has only wanted to be a race car driver. And now, as he comes to the checkered flag, Kyle Larson's going to win in the Sprint Cup Series. It's such tense racing when you're trying to come to the checkered flag, fighting for position. White flag. Woo! You, now you just pack it in there and hope it sticks. <laughs> Remember Brad Man, Kozlowski four, won here two back years here. ago, leading only the last lap. Back straight away, final time. I think we're past the low overtime line. I think we're good to go here. And it looks like uh, Mr. Larson is coming home. Kozlowski dives to the bottom. 
Not close enough. The California kid, Kyle Larson, brings it off turn number four. He, Chip Ganassi, and Chevrolet are going to victory lane in Fontana. Good job, buddy. You better belt that thing down. Brad Keselowski second. And the white flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. If you believe in karma and omens, look at the quarter panel of Kyle Larson's car and his uniform. Cars three, number one this weekend at the box office. Car 42, Kyle Larson, number one at Michigan International Speedway. Larson wins. Chase Elliott second for the third yeah, Michigan man. race in a row. Man, you made up for it will be final. White flag to the 42, Chip Ganassi racing driver. Less than two miles to go. There's a hat trick on the line. Oh my God. Give me one more set of corners, buddy, then you can celebrate all you want, bud. One more set of corners, buddy. Kyle Larson got back here at 2.45 this morning after coming second in Knoxville. There is no second place here. Kyle Larson coming to the line with Truex chasing will win his third time in a row here in Michigan. Yeah, good job, guys. Hell of a job, buddy. I want a show like you've never put on before here. I'm so proud of you. The white flag. Kyle Larson out in front of Richmond. And up into the wall goes the 78 Horde. Caution will come out. Kyle Larson will be the winner. The 11, Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex made yep, contact. Yep, Kyle Larson wins at Richmond. I'm proud of you, buddy. You guys, hell of a job. Make sure you won that race. They'll show him the white flag. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Moose, bring it on home. He'll never get to you. Kyle Larson, the 27-year-old from Elk Grove, California. Throughout the season, it looked like Kurt Busch was the leading driver for Chip Ganassi Racing. Well, it's going to be Kyle Larson who's going to give Chip Ganassi Racing their first run into the next round, the furthest they've ever gone. Larson wins at the Monster Mile. You guys are in the history one that way. Good job, guys. That's what John came through. You guys have been on that lately.